All right, so in our last episode of Snippet Sunday, we went over how you can prevent a functional component from updating state uh, after it's been unmounted. Um, I received a comment on that video saying, although that's one way to do it, another way would be to stop the HTTP request um, before it returns. So today, that's what we're going to look at. We're going to prevent the HTTP request from returning, and instead, that'll stop the update because it'll never happen. So as a recap, I just want to go over the project structure. We have an application, and it renders a page component that we can toggle on and off with a button. And that page component now, um, in this case, what we're going to be doing is loading an image of a random dog uh, whenever we click reload. So we can click the reload button and get a new dog, click it again, get a new dog, and then as an example, I have a button to reload, but then cancel the request right away. Uh, so it, it never returns and we never get a new dog. And then we can go back and reload again and get another one. And then as before, we can also toggle on and off the page component. And whenever that mounts, we get a new dog because our use effect is running. Okay, so what we wanna do now is update our page component to return a function from use effect, which will cancel the reload if one's running. So what that looks like. Uh, we have our use effect here, so at the bottom of it, we can do return function, and then we take our token, which looks like this, uh, current because we're using a ref to keep track of it across renders. Uh, so we can do cancel token, or sorry, cancel source dot current uh, dot cancel, and that'll look just like it does in our cancel button. Uh, and then I guess the last thing we want to do is um, toggle the page somehow before that returns. So now we can do reload, toggle, and then we'll bring up our console. We'll just run it through one more time. So we can see that we're loading, and then we've loaded. And then when we reload, we reload, we load, and we're loaded. Okay? So now what we'll do is reload and cancel. And we see reload with cancel, start the load, cancel, and then we throw an error which is what happens when you cancel the Axios request. So you can catch it and do something special if you wanted to. In this case, we're just gonna log it out. Try it one more time, we'll do reload, toggle page. Uh, we didn't really get quick enough there. Okay, so it took me a couple tries, but you can see here, uh, we, re we refreshed, started loading the dog, the dog loaded, then I clicked reload, it started loading, and then I clicked toggle page component and that canceled it. So we never actually got uh, and we didn't get the warning and we prevented the reload. So we try it one more time, see if I can get it here. There you go. So reload, start loading, and then get the error. And so all, all we're doing basically is keeping track of that token. And then whenever we unmount, we just call cancel and that'll stop any requests attached to that token and everything should be fine. All right, so hopefully that gives you another option to cancel your requests and prevent that updating state on unmounted components error. Uh, you can view the previous video. I'll put it up on the screen right now. Otherwise, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Owen Conti, subscribe to the channel, and uh, check out my new website, owenconti.com, where you can subscribe to my newsletter as well. Thanks.